In this video, I will be unboxing the Mount Dog Soft Box Lighting Kit with a dimmable LED 3 colors bulb. I will also be showing you how to assemble them and also the three possible setup of these lighting. Without further ado, let's get started. And now, let me show you what the package comes with. First, uh, it comes with a carrying bag. And the carrying bag looks uh, like this. Okay, so something like that. And then it comes with, uh, this must be the bulb. Okay, and the bulb, as you can see, it does comes with a remote. Okay, and this is the bulb uh, looks like. Okay, let's just remove the plastic. Okay, so something like that. And let's just put it there for now. And this must be the other bulb. Okay. Let's just remove the plastic again for this one. And the other bulb comes with another remote. So it's up to you if you want to use them both, but in my opinion, one remote should be uh, good. Not unless one uh, is broken, then you can you have extra one to use. So, but it's really up to you, and it does need uh, two uh, AAA batteries. And this is the uh, soft box. Okay, let's just open it. Okay, so this is your first set. And by the way, this package comes with the uh, two soft boxes. Okay, so this one must be the uh, diffusion sheet for the first set. Okay, and this must be the other soft box. Okay, let's open this one too and let's check. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as the other one and it, and it does come also with a diffusion sheet. Okay, and this must be the stand for the soft box. Okay, let's just open it. Okay, so it's like the regular stand for like selfies, pretty much they're the same. But this one is, is a bit uh, heavier than the other regular selfies stick or like tripod for little cameras. And this must be the other stand for the soft box. Okay, so they're the same. Okay, let's just remove the plastic for this one as well. Okay. And that's pretty much what the package comes with. And now, let's start to assemble them. Let's first start with the first uh, uh, set. Okay, let's first start off with the stand. Okay, so it's pretty much the uh, same as the other stand. Just pull it up and then um, something like that and then tighten it so it won't uh, go down or up. So something like that. And you will notice on top of this one, Okay, so on top of this one, the black thing over there, so if you can remove that, it's like a cover from the tip up there. Okay, and now let's try to install this uh, soft box. Okay, so from this uh, view. Okay, so just put it something like that and then tighten it. And uh, okay, so tighten it some more. Okay, so something like that. And from here, so this is uh, however way you want to angle your soft box. So this is what you will have to tighten. So let's just tighten this one for now, something like that. Okay. Okay, let's just open the soft box. And from here, we have to uh, push it down, the circle right there. If you want to use two hands it would be great so just push it in until it fits on that uh, circle thing over there okay and now let's install the bulb so there is a cover the white thing there is a cover so after you remove that then you uh, insert or install the bulb in there 
And then it's time to um, put on the uh, diffusion sheet. Simply slide the corners so, of that uh, sheet on all the corners of the soft box. Okay, so something like that. And uh, on all the sides, there are uh, Velcros. So just snap them in. So let's start from this side and then this other side. And then of course the other side. Oops. And lastly, the side at the bottom. Okay, and then it looks like that. And uh, from here, so it's up to you, uh, however way you want to angle your uh, softbox. And of course, you just have to loosen that part over there. And then if you decided which angle you wanted it to be, then you tighten it from there. Okay, so something like that over there. And now if you want to adjust the height, you simply loosen the one that one over there and then tighten it if you decided on that specific height but again if you still wanted to adjust it let's say you wanted to increase the height some more there's still one more there like one control that you have to just loosen and then you can increase uh, the height of your uh, soft box uh, if you want yeah that one over there by the way, just so you know, I am not using a DSLR in taking this video right now. I'm only using an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And by the way, I have set up these two soft boxes about 45 uh, degrees, both of them. So one here and one on the side, and they're both uh, pointing at me. And now it's time to test these uh, two soft boxes. Just to give you a heads up, I am not a pro on uh, lightings. Uh, this review is only based on a regular consumer like me. So first of all, I got these uh, two soft boxes uh, from Amazon. I'll be adding a link under the description below if you're curious where I got it. And now I'll be using, of course, the remote to test this out. And by the way, the remote needs a two AAA battery. In my opinion, you don't need to use two remotes as this control both at the same time. So you have to be like, if I'm going to control it over here, it changes both of this at the same time. Maybe if you want to change one and then the other one in a different uh, color temperature, then you have to get so close to the other one so the other one will not uh, change as well or it will not synchronize as you change the other one. But anyway, uh, let's uh, test first uh, what's in here. So let's first try the white. Okay, so that is 100% on white and the 50% is like that and the 20% is like that. And now let's try the cold. So that is a cold in 100%, 50%, and 20%. And now in warm, that is 100% in warm, 50%, and 20%. And also there, if you notice on the remote, there is K. The K is the, the Kelvin. That uh, for the K or Kelvin is for the, uh, the color temperature of the light bulb. Okay, so that's the warm. And let's put it, let's say on 20. And now I'm gonna press the K plus or the color temperature for for warm and then I'll okay so I'll press the K plus okay so that's what it is and then and then if I press the minus so again this is this is in warm so it's gonna be like that now if we press again the warm it goes to its uh, default okay so that's the default of warm in 100% and let's go back to 20 and now let's if you go to cold okay so that's 100 percent in cold and 50 percent and let's say 20 percent and let's press the uh, kelvin minus or the k minus okay that's what it's gonna be and let's say the so this is again in cold and then i'm gonna press the k plus okay so that is uh, gonna be the light and also and also there is uh, like this one here to adjust the brightness. 
Okay, so let's try the uh, white. Okay, so that's the white. If you want to reduce the brightness, just simply uh, press the one below. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. And now, one soft box is pointing at me while the other one had bounced it towards the ceiling so the light bounces towards me. Okay, now let's give it a try. Let's start from the white. Okay, that's white in 100% and 50% and 20%. And now let's try the cold. So cold that is in 100% and 50% and 20%. And the warm. Okay, so that's 100%, 50%, and 20%. And again, if we're going to try the Kelvin, the K plus and minus, so K plus in warm goes like that, and then, and then in warm K minus, if I'm going to keep pressing it, it goes like that. And in the cold, so that's 100%, if I'm going to press the K plus, it's gonna be something like that or the K minus it's gonna be something like that or even the white okay that's 100% and let's just move it to 20% and then K plus so it's gonna be like that and then K minus okay and there's also a night mode on here the one in the middle so if, go if I'm going to press that then it's gonna be like that and now let me try turning off all the lights and as you noticed I have added a lamp uh, behind me and I want you to notice how it affects the color of the background light or lamp behind me whenever I change the color temperature of uh, the light bulb. Okay so let's start with the white. So that is the, the white in 100% and now the 50% is like that and that is in a 20%. And if we're going to try the uh, cold, so cold that is in 100% and this is 50% and this is 20%. And uh, let's try the warm, that is 100%. This is the 50% and this is the 20%. And now let me show you another uh, setup. So still this one, this one soft box is pointing towards me while the other one is not anymore bouncing from the ceiling, but this one is bouncing through this uh, wall. Okay, so this is the white in 100% and that is the white in 50% and this is the white in 20%. And let's start with a cold, cold that is in 100%. That's a 50% in cold and 20% in cold. And the warm, that is 100% in the warm, 50% and 20%. And again, you can like play around when it comes to the Kelvin or the color temperature of this light. So that is um, pressing K minus and then K plus. And now I'll try the cold. That is, that's 100% and then K plus in cold looks like that and then K, K minus in cold keep pressing the minus K minus in cold goes like that and then the white that's 100% in white and then I'm pressing the K plus then it goes like that or K minus while in white uh, setting and it goes uh, like that and then also like to adjust the bright brightness or reduce it could be like that or to increase the brightness of the white goes like that same with the warm that's 100% in warm but if I'm going to decrease or reduce the the brightness so I'm pressing to reduce the brightness in warm it goes like that and then or up it goes like that I think it goes to 100% warm is already in a 20% and then that's the lowest to brightness and warm. So the only downfall on this one, I think I'm liking it, um, the only downfall on these soft boxes is the wire or the, the cord for the power cord is not long enough so you will need an extension um, and also it's taking up space so you need a space to set them up. The other downfall that I notice is that if you raise this stand too high, it's a bit tippy. So I suggest uh, make sure to don't raise it uh, up to the max maximum height. 
and also place it in a secure spot if possible. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again guys so for watching and if you like this type of video please so like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.